Hmm, g'day, it's Tragic here, and welcome to the very first quest of Lord of the Rings, the living card game. We're going to be playing two-handed solo, and the first quest is uh, Passage Through Mirkwood. So let's set that sucker up. Flies and spiders, passage through Mirkwood. You are traveling through Mirkwood Forest, carrying an urgent message from King Thalandral to Lady Galadriel of Lorelin. As you move along the dark trail, spiders gather around you. <laughs> Interesting. And the first stage is eight points. We have an Old Forest Road, which has a really cool travel effect. After you travel to Old Forest Road, the first player may choose and ready one character he controls. And we also have uh, the Forest Spiders. So our first player is actually going to be this dude here. And I've already created the deck, so I'm just going to set them up right now. And start the game. Okay, so let's have a look at our opening hand. Not too good. We're actually going to take this mulligan and see if we get something a little better. Much, much, much better. Look, we've got Burning Brand and we've got Stuart of Gondor. Fantastic. And over here, what have we got? Interesting. We've got uh, Horn of Gondor and we've got some discardable cards. So that's actually a pretty good hand as two. We're going to actually pass the mulligan on this one. Okay. So we're ready to rumble. Let's draw our second card and get straight into it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is actually spend two and place Burning Brand out on Denethor. And we're not going to actually add a uh, mark because until you get Stuart out, you always want to keep one resource on your war guy here. So he has the ability to always cast Steward. Nice. And this dude here is going to spend, what have you got here? So he's going to spend one, two, and place out this guy. And we're going to put the Horn of Gondor on Frodo. I'll stick it underneath him like that. Okay, so that is the opening salvo done. Unfortunately, we do not have Test of Will up, which is a bit of a bummer. Okay, so let's get into, oops, probably helps if I have a camera set to the right spot. Okay, so we're going to quest with Frodo, we're going to quest with Thalen, and we're going to quest with Glorthindel. Now, Thalen is a dwarf, right? So he, even though he's got one will, because of Dane Ironfoot, he gets plus one will. So we're just going to drag out a permanent will marker for that. And now... We can calculate our will and we're sitting at four will, which is pretty, well, we're sitting at seven will, which is four plus. So let's draw the first card. Nice, draw the second card. Ooh, the first player chooses a character currently committed to the quest and deal two damage to that character. Okay, so that is two wounds on Glorfindel. So we're actually at zero, so there's no gain or loss. We are then gonna to travel to the old forest road. And then we're gonna use our uh, engagements thing. So what happens is you don't this is something that's a bit new in multiplayer, because I mainly play single player, I very rarely play with two two players. That's why I'm doing this new series, because I wanna experience the game with double handed. Because it's just too hard to hold the hands and the cards in real life, because this is a virtual tabletop. It's easy. Anyway, whatever. The point is you have engagement checks and then you have threat checks. So he is going to choose to engage uh, this guy. And now that he's actually already engaged, it's now time and he's not going to choose to engage anyone. 
And now normal engagement check where you check this guy's 10 threat and he's at 31 threat. And because he's the first player, he engages this guy first. So he will get both people, which is pretty cool. Okay. So let's uh, drop their cards. Remember, you always deal the shadow card to the guy with the highest threat first. So I think he's going to defend against this dude. We actually don't use his uh, shadow card at all because we've got Burning Brain, which is cancels the shadow cards after they're played. And then I'm going to use this guy to defend against this bloke who also gets discarded. And this guy is actually attacking at three because he gets plus one after engaging. But Denethor has a native defensive three. And this guy's also got a native defensive three, which definitely beats two. Oh, and I forgot, uh, Old Forest Road, because we traveled there, we get to ready the first player hero, so we can ready Glorfindel. And then we're going to go attack with Glorfindel, and we're going to use ranged attack of Legolas to add another three damage. And we're attacking for six. Now, the easiest way to calculate damage is to add the defense and the health up. So this guy's got one defense and four damage. So you just add them together, and that's how much damage you need to kill. So we only need five, but we're attacking for six, so he is actually destroyed. And in addition, because we fought with Legolas, which is place two progress tokens on the current quest. So we'll just go one, two, nice. And finally, we'll also attack with this guy who also has ranged. And he does another three damage. He also gets discarded after use. And we're using the ranged attack to track this guy. He's got three health, he's got no defense. So he is also destroyed. And we've done a pretty good job of clearing the board. And in addition, we have Horn of Gondor, which is when a character leaves play, we add a resource. So we just lost Vassal the Wind Lord. So we get an extra resource. That was a pretty good opening turn for us. So let's refresh and draw another card. And of course we are flipping this thing over. Okay, let me just stick this up like that. Right. So I'm gonna go one two uh, gonna go one two and place out with a mark's finest. I'm also going to go one off you and place out Blade of Gondolin. Now, Blade of Gondolin is a very cool card. It gives us plus against orcs, but there's not a lot of orcs. There's more spiders in this deck, in this encounter. But it does allow us to place quest progress tokens. So it's basically the same as Legolas's ability, except it's just plus one. So he's now placing three quest tokens per kill. And Rivermark's Finest is a pretty underrated card in my opinion. You exhaust it, and then you get place progress tokens down, which is awesome. Okay, and what are we doing for you? Okay, so we're placing out Steward of Gondor, but we're placing it on this guy here. That costs two, and then we're tapping that, and he gets two. And then I'm gonna go one, two, three, and place out Rivendell Minstrel. And that's gonna allow us to find our song. Now this is a, an error with the current mod. Uh, it needs to be adjusted. See, the, when you do the setup, it renames all these things to player one. This is actually a bug. It's supposed to append them so you can still search. But we are going to grab out the spirit song placed in hand that will be fixed like i said this is a work in progress this mod we'll uh, uh shuffle we'll uh, fix it all up as time goes by nice and i think i'm just gonna minus one off that straight away and place out a spirit song like that Okay, so it's now quest phase. They're gonna quest with 
the Minstrel. We'll quest with Thane and we'll quest with Throdo. That's giving us a total of six questing at the moment. Let's draw. And let's draw. The first player chooses one character currently committed to the quest. Deal two damage to that character. So let's just put two wounds on you. Did I not move this? No, I think that's right. I've got to remember to keep moving this thing. I might quit. I might uh, script that so it moves automatically. Anyway, we are at six to six, so that's completely even. And this guy is going to optionally engage again. Okay, so we're going to defend with Denethor. He gets a shadow card, but it is automatically discarded because of Burning Brand. And then we're going to go attack for three. But we're actually going to, even though it's overkill, we're going to also attack with Legolas for six. That is going to kill this guy. Oops, kill this guy. And like I said, there's some bugs in the script. And that's going to give us another one, two, three progress. We finally beat the old forest road. Our questing power isn't that great. Okay, so let's refresh and draw another card. This guy moves across. And we also tap you and get another one, two. And I'm going to go one, two, and place out Unexpected Courage on Glathindel. I'm also going to spend one, and I'm going to remove one of these wounds. Oops, that's not a bin. I might make that a bin. That'd be nice. Okay. And you... Oh, wait. I'm also going to spend one off you and add another attack power to this guy. So he's actually now attacking at five, I think it is. I mean four. Which is pretty cool. Okay. Ah, good. We have where eagles are coming. So we can search the top five cards of our deck for an eagle. So let's uh, do that. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what's interesting is that this says search for any number of eagle cards, but this card here is actually an eagle card. So we can bring this into our hand. So return to the deck and shuffle. And then we're going to do the exact same thing again. And this time we do get some juicy hits. So we'll take two of these into hand and, and shuffle. Okay, we are going to go one, two, and place out this guy. And that's pretty much it. So let's go quest and quest. And we're going to go quest and quest, giving us a total of nine questing power. That's pretty nice. Out comes this guy, nothing, and out comes this guy. Each player must choose a character currently committed to the quest and remove that character from the quest. Okay, so that's pretty annoying. They don't untap, so we'll just get rid of him, and I guess we'll get rid of him. Now, we recalculate our quest, and we're actually sitting now at negative two which isn't a particularly good questing amount, but we do have the Rhythmark's Finest. So we're gonna exhaust him to add two progress tokens to any location. So this guy gets discarded. We get an extra resource from Horn of Gondor. And we're gonna place two progress tokens on the Great Forest Web, which only takes two progress tokens. So that is discarded. And we're now even, so no threat gained or lost. Okay, then we are actually going to drag this thing down and click. 
we tr to travel to this location, we actually need to reveal a card from the staging area. So let's uh, draw another card. Don't be a monster. Nice. Then we're going to do an optional engages and our engages to get both these guys to come across to here. Let's tap this, uh, tap unexpected courage, which allows us to ready heroes and we'll ready Glorthindel. We'll then draw out our shadow cards. We'll defend Denethor versus the spider. So this is actually discarded because we ignore shadow cards because of burning brand. He's attacking for three. He's defending at three, so no damage. We'll defend with uh, Bane. Nothing, no shadow effect. And we simply go, okay, let's have a look here. What have we got here? This guy's attacking for four now, isn't he? So he'll attack with, oh, I think we're just gonna go attack with three and attack with uh, four. And we're gonna use that to kill the spider. Now, that allows us to place another one, two, three progress tokens on the Mountains of Mirkwood. And this has a response. After Mountain of Mirkwood leaves players an explored location, each player may search the top five cards of his deck for one card. Nice. Now, remember, we, we got that, we, we were placing those tokens because we have two from Legolas and one from Blade of Gondolin. Okay, so we just get to look at the top five cards. Hmm. What I think I would, I think I might take Fast Hitch. Nice. Okay, so that is the end of that turn. Okay, so we have each player's threat by six. Each player's threat by two, or one player's threat by six, beg your pardon. Like I said, I very rarely play multiplayer. This is literally maybe the first, I mean, I had a couple of test games to see if these deck works, but this is like the first, maybe the third game I've played uh, multiplayer in, you know, maybe four years, five years, or however long the game's been out, since since the Daredelf cycle was new, basically. We're still pretty bad on our resources over here. I think I'm going to go one, two, three, and actually cast uh, Gravdul's Greeting, but we're doing it for minus six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, what are you going to be doing? Let's uh, tap you and get two extra resources. We're going to minus one of those resources and clear another wound. And I think I'm going to go one, two, three and play out Gild Gildor, uh, Oh, one, two, three. Wait, that's five. What am I doing? Ah, let's just do one, two, three. Let's do this thing here. Choose a player. That player draws three cards. Let's uh, let's do it on this guy. So that's one, two, three. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at that. Beg your pardon. So let's uh, Thane, Frodo, like so. That gives us a total of nine questing power. And we're plus two. Okay, which one do we want to go to? 
Let's just go to Forest Gate, lead player may draw two cards. Nice. That's this guy. Okay, so we're going to defend with uh, Denethor. Nothing happens. We'll just untap you. Attack with Glorfindel and we'll attack with Legolas. That kills this guy, obviously. And we get one, two, three progress tokens. Nice. Let's tap him, get one, two. Okay, what have we got going on here? Let's go one, two, but wait, sorry. One, two off this bloke. And we're going to play out the stone. That's plus two questing power now. And let's uh, go one, two, three. Three. Play out another song, minstrel. Search in here. We're looking for another song. Bam. Shuffle that. Booyah. Okay. And you, what are we gonna do with you? So we can finally start casting some more of our stuff. Uh, you know what, we've, we've actually got Ancient Mathan, so I think he is also going to spend one more and actually cast the song and we'll place out this spirit song on Thane we're going to cast one off him uh, let's cast uh, one off Frodo place out the Mathan and what shall I do here? I think I'll just go one. Oh, wait, we're going to leave that up. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and place out <coughs> Radagast. <coughs> now, Radagast actually gets his own. <coughs> beg your pardon. So Radagast gets his own resource token, which is pretty awesome. And then we're going to do our questing. So once again, we're going to go bam, bam. Actually might not quest with Glorfindel this time. And we're going to go your blam and your blam, blam and blam. We now have a pretty whopping questing, I would say. Questing at 12, that's masses of amounts. Let's draw. Whoa. Okay, so... Each character currently committed to the quest gets minus one. So that is fantastic. Now, unfortunately, we do not have a way of stopping that. So we have one, two, we have one, two, three guys here. So that's a negative one, negative one, negative one. And this guy gets negative one and negative one. Okay, so let's just recalculate our questing power. And we're now at negative one questing power. So that really hurt us. Let's draw the next card. Booyah. Each player must choose an exhausted character he controls. So this is not good. We don't have a Riddle Mark Finest either. So... Well, I have to exhaust this guy and we're going to tap 
unexpected courage as our exhaustion for Gorfindel. Okay, so that wasn't very cool at all, but we're still negative three. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Now both of these guys are going to attack us. We're going to send them both to the one side. Shadow card, shadow card. Okay, so we're in a bit of trouble here. I'm gonna defend against this guy, nothing happens. And then I'm gonna defend against this guy, nothing happens, but he's actually attacking for five. So even with three defense, he's gonna get two wounds. I'm then gonna spend one resource off him to heal that wound, to heal one wound. And now we need to figure out what we're going to do here. This guy, let's see, this guy takes 11 damage to kill. We've got three, we've got seven damage we can do. Interesting. I think it's better to actually kill this spider outright, even though it's a bit of a waste. So. We'll just attack with this guy and with Legolas. And that'll do tons of damage to this bloke. So the King Spider is dead and this guy is left untouched. Oh, and I keep forgetting, Thalen is putting one wound on every single character when they get revealed. I haven't been doing that all game. So Thane, while he's committed to the quest, deal one damage to each enemy. But we did attack with Legolas, that's another three, so that's one, so that is one, two, three. Let's just uh, group them up so I can uh, see what's going on. We're at six progress. This is completed though. Ancient Mathan triggers which means that this guy can draw three cards, one, two, three, because he is the first player. Okay. So that's that. Let's draw another card. Flip this guy over. What have we got here? Okay, let's go one, two, place out another guy and what are we going to do with this guy flip go one two well I think we're definitely going to go BAM and place out another attack card over here so it's going to add another oh wait they're not, not defense they're attack so it's one two one two three so we're now attacking for five What else are we going to do? I think he's going to spend one, heal another wound of this guy. Let's go one, two, and we're going to cast this baby and stick it on uh, Legolas. Oops. Okay. Still can't believe we haven't got anything remotely cool over here. We do have another greeting. I think I'm actually going to cast that. I'm going to go, uh, I think I might lay off casting because I want to keep a uh, hasty stroke up. Okay, so let's quest and quest and quest and quest. We are going to also quest with Glorfindel and these two guys. That gives us a huge 15 quest. Let's yablam. Uh, first player must choose one person committed to the quest and deal two damage. Let's put two damage on you. 
he also gets a wound and the next one comes out he gets a wound as well we're still plus six so we have passed the first stage the nastiest things they saw were the cobwebs dark dense cobwebs with threads extraordinarily thick often stretched from tree to tree or tangled in the lower branches on either side of them there was none stretching across the path but whether because some magic kept it clear or for what other reason they could not guess <laughs> and that's complete you blam as you move through workwood hounded by spiders the forest path forks before you okay so this one's only two to get past should be pretty easy Uh, let's travel here and we get to draw two cards. Still no, well, I do have the Dwarven Tome finally. And this guy is actually going to come down here. We're going to optionally engage with that guy, optionally engage with this guy. Okay, so starting with the first player, he gets a shadow card. We are going to defend with Wind Guardian. Let's flip this over. Shadow card, deal one damage to each character the defending player controls. Wow. Luckily, we have a spare resource that we've been saving to cancel the shadow effect triggered during combat. So that doesn't happen. Go away, puss, you're annoying me. Nice. This also gets discarded. We're not going to save it because we want the extra resource placed onto Frodo using Juan of Gondor. And then I'm going to tap this and destroy this guy here. And that places one, two, three progress tokens. Now it's this bloke's turn. He gets your blam. Why is that not working all of a sudden? Uh, why is the... My drawing counter button is suddenly not working for some reason. Like I said, there's a few bugs in this this uh, thing at the moment. Okay, so again, we're going to defend with Denethor versus the big guy. That's two wounds. And then we're going to defend this guy versus this bloke. And that's nothing. Then we're going to attack with Glorfindel for three. Tap with Legolas for three. That's six. And we're actually going to place damage on him. And we're going to go one, two. Uh, let's just do it. Three. Okay, so this is discarded. Unsure of what lies ahead, but spurned by the urgency of your message, you choose a path and proceed. When you defeat this stage, proceed to one of two A chosen path stages at random. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. The trail winds into one of the darkest, most tangled parts of the forest. You sense that a foul, dark presence is hunting you and move quickly in an attempt to avoid its evil. When revealed, each player must search the encounter deck and discard path for one spider card of his choice and add it to the staging area. Okay, the shadow grows darker and you realize that a foul presence is aiming to draw you from the path. You must defeat it to pass this way. Okay, so let's search this. There is no spiders in there, unfortunately. So let's search this. 
We'll grab a forest spider. Is it each player? Each player, yep. And another forest spider. Okay. Now, it does say each player must reveal. It says add to the staging area so the when reveal effects don't trigger. But that's fine. They don't have when reveal effects. Now, this is outside the, the questing phase, so Thalen's ability does not count. Okay. Flippity flippity. What you got for us now? Let's uh, tap U and go one, two. Okay, so we're gonna go click, spend out this. That's gonna put this guy to four defense. I think we are also going to go click, bring out U. It's actually two. Let's go click and heal one wound off this guy. And let's go click and add fast hitch to Frodo. What are you going to do? Well, firstly, let's uh, scry the top five cards of our deck with that eagle card. Nothing in there. We're going to go, oh, look at that. It's so unfortunate. We don't have enough. Oh, yes, we do, because we've got uh, Radagas. Now, Radagas, he collects resources, but you can spend them to cast creature cards, and the Descendant is a creature card. So we go one, two, three, four. We'll place out Descendant, and that'll place two wounds on this guy. So we're going to go you blam you blam you blam you blam you blam okay draw two cards That's so weird, the encounter deck is showing as empty for some reason, but it's definitely not. There we are. Like I said, there's some bugs in this thing. Oh, cannot ready during the refresh phase, that's fine. Let's just stick it on Glorfindel. And draw the next one. Okay. <coughs> We're questing for 10, there's 10 in the staging area, so nothing happens. We're going to send this, optionally engage this one, and this one is then going to engage this one. Nice. Okay, so this will probably work now. Yeah, that's why it wasn't working, because that scripting zone was in that wrong position. Okay, so this guy is always going to attack at five, because remember, his burning brand gets discarded. We're now defending at four, because we have... Uh, a warning attached so we tap for that we flip this over doesn't matter what it is he's attacking for five defending at four so he gets one wound I'm then going to defend this guy versus this dude nothing happens okay now I'm gonna go Three, six, and kill this guy. And we don't place any quick tokens on here because it's zero to pass, so I'm not going to bother. I'm then going to untap this bloke and untap this bloke. And 
yeah so so I'm untapping yeah so then I untap Glorfindel and I untap Legolas using Unexpected Courage and I attack again for three four five six that places okay so he's defending at two so that's four wounds one two three four okay pretty much almost dead Let's also tap you and get this guy to draw one card. Finally, it turns up. A bit late. Okay, and now this guy, we are going to defend with uh, Wind Guardian. Would you go away, cat? Okay, so that's nothing. This guy is going to get discarded, which will add a resource. And then I'm going to untap Frodo by using Fast Hitch. We're then attacking for one, two, three with Frodo. Now remember, he had two wounds on him for when Descendant attacked. So we're now attacking for three and he's got one defense. That's another two wounds, which means he's now got four wounds, which actually kills him. So nice work. Good old Frodo. Refresh, draw another card. Flippy floppity. Wow, we're at 41 threat. That's not good. So let's go one, two, three, four, f uh, one, two, three, beg your pardon. Place out the greeting. And we're going to minus one, two, three, four, five, six off here. Let's don't really want any of these cards and none of them do anything for us. We still haven't got a uh, card that allows us to cast this. So that's pretty terrible. It's really nothing we really want to cast now. So yeah, that's that. And for you, we're actually going to spend our unexpected courage to ready Glorfindel. Tap that, get two. We're going to spend one, two of this and place out. Mine of the Iron Hills, which allows us to discard a condition. And we're going to minus one to get rid of one of these wounds. And then we're going to quest. So we're going to go blam, you blam. Let's just go blam with you. We don't care about it. And we're going to go you blam, you blam, you blam, you blam. That gives us a total of 13. That's plenty. Let's draw two cards. Ooh, deal one damage to every character, but we're actually going to cancel it by spending one and playing out cancel when revealed effect. So that came out just in time. And we're plus five, so that's fine. And I will also send this guy over here i guess we could no uh, yeah let's travel as oh it's the first player right that's this dude here did i swap the first player token i can't remember oh well let's worry about it later i'll definitely script that to swap sides automatically okay so this guy gets a card this guy gets a card we defend with Denethor. Denethor is defending at four. He is burning brand, so this is automatically discarded no matter what it is. He's attacking at five, which means he gets one wound, which means he's still fine. And I'll defend this guy like so. Oh, choose to discard one attachment from defending character. This guy has no attachments, so nothing goes off. And now it's just attack phase. So we 
What do we need to kill this guy? We need, he's got two defense and we've got five. We need to do six damage so we can kill him this round. I'd really like to also kill this guy. So we need another five damage, but I don't think we can do it. Oh, well, yes we can. Oh no, we've already used unexpected courage because he had a condition on him. Damn it. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so well, let's just end it. Let's go three attack plus three attack. That's six attack. So he's got two. So that is one, two, three, four. He's now got nine wounds and he has nine wounds to kill. So he is destroyed. And then we'll attack one plus, oh wait, he's got five attack. I keep forgetting how much attack this guy's got. I should probably put these on top of him. So that's five attack plus this is six attack, which is actually enough to kill this guy outright. So bam, we clear all the boards completely. And that is the end of the entire game because when uh, players must have find and defeat Ungulant spawn to win this game. Ungulant was just killed. He has no VPs on him for some crazy reason. And that is the end of that. We finished it on turn six and we were at 29 and 35 threat. Well, that kind of worked out pretty well. Our deck didn't work as well as I wanted it to. Uh, basically, there is a, in, in this deck, there is a song of leadership that adds the leadership icon, which we play onto this deck. And that gives him the ability to sneak attack Gandalfs and sneak attack descendants if required, which fuels Horn of Gondor. I think I could probably take out Fast Hitch I like having fast hits just in case I need to do multiple defend. Like if, if the we controlled the threat very well this game, but sometimes you get too many monsters and you need fast hits will allow you to tap and do defending with uh, this bloke. But yeah, I think I'd rather, t I think I'd take out fast hitch and put in some more, uh, put in some extra adjustments there. So there's some small adjustments to this deck. I'll make my final adjustments to the deck before I add it to the mod. But that is that, and I will see you guys next time.